Find a job you love and you will never work another day in your life. I think posture is very important. We need to take air in very well, so we have air to spend very well. And this cycle is very, very essential. And then the throat, for example, we have some bad habits of leaning forward, leaning forward, or putting stress on the throat. And this is like a straw when we are drinking milkshake and we bend the straw and no milkshake comes through the straw if it's bent over. So to make sure that this is all as open and the air can move freely in and out. So Alexander technique or yoga or Tai Chi or something that makes you, gives you body awareness. Anything you can do with your voice we talk about the shape of the mouth or and making the feeling like you're yawning here or making a lot of space. So if we're singing oh, oh, this kind of color, we can make this color on the flute very nice. Very open, no edges, no center. But we can also make a very, very tight sound like this. And so anything I can do with my voice, I can use this also with the, the flute sound. And then I use also singing in another way or saying, if you're studying a piece which has a very complex rhythmic pattern, first of all, we have to get the body to understand the rhythm. Because as soon as you pick up an instrument, there is a limitation. Well, orchestral auditions are quite strange, aren't they? <laughs> we are playing very short pieces, so we have to practice this changing from one style to another style very quickly. One very useful tip is a book by Don Green called Audition Success. And in this book, he describes for every excerpt, have an image. It can be a photograph from a magazine, it can be a postcard of a painting, something that helps you to get in the mood of that excerpt. So that we are using another sense to change so quickly. I always say to my students, expect the unexpected. So having a very strong game plan beforehand, doing lots of tryouts. So I recommend people have like an audition club, maybe four or five friends, different instruments, even better, different instruments to have experience of playing with other musicians, other instruments and do it regularly. So that this very strange thing we have to do, we all have to do it, that this doesn't feel so strange when we finally come to do the audition. A very important motto to me is find a job you love and you will never work another day in your life. And I think this is really important to enjoy your work and then it doesn't feel like work. <laughs>